in here has ever heard of a store called Abercrombie and French? <laughs> Let me tell you what, I would not eat about a French toast right now if you was to give it to me on a sturdy field of fork. Now that's the truth. You are not going to believe what I have in this bag. I have found what is at the root of all this moral decay. Now then, I want to know if anybody in here can tell me what this is right here. Does anybody know what that is? Well, I think. Maybe you think it's some kind of a toy. Maybe a slingshot or something. Anybody know? Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea where that little string right there is supposed to rest? Let me tell you what this thing is right here. This is what the French people call a thong penny. And teenagers all across America are wearing these. Sitting in church with nothing more than a little string up their hand. Amen? I think it is a sin to sit in church with something like this. You know, the magazines make this look savage, and this is not savage. This is unsanitary. I don't know how in the world a teenager can go to their poor mother and ask them to wash something like this. It is a fecal nightmare. A weapon of mass corruption. Folks, this is an end time sign if I've ever seen one right there. Amen. <coughs> These are Democrat panties if I have ever seen them. I can see, I can see in my mind's eye that Hillary Clinton wearing a pair of these right here. Or that Tipper Gore. If I close my eyes right now, I can just see that Teresa Hans Terry just running around the ketchup factory wearing a pair of these. Amen. Amen. Now then, this is what I want to know. How many here right now? Now be honest with me. How many of you right now are sitting here in the house of the Lord? <laughs> Listening to me say to you with a little thread running up your backside right now. I would love to know. Anybody, can I have a show of hands? Is somebody back there? Amen. I see somebody right back there. Would you stand up? Stand up, sir. Stay standing. Stay standing. to stop bringing good Christian panties to church. Amen? <laughs> These are good Christian panties. Amen. Would you take this? Who was it? Stand up, sugar. You need them. Would you just pass these on across back there to them? Pass them out back there to them. Get on back there. Keep your hand raised so you can see where it go. Amen. And now, whenever they get to you, that's right. Oh, yes. Good. Now, listen. Just stand up for y'all. Slip them right on over your pants. I spoke with the Lord this morning. He said, as long as there's something between you and the chair, you're covered. Amen. Look at that. They look good on you. Amen. 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 Here's a pair with the flowers. For you, sugar. There you go. Oh, you need one, too. There you go, sugar. Oh, here's one. Here, you need one, sugar. There you go. There you go. Who else needs one? Right here, sugar. There you go. Anybody else? Oh, you want one. There you go, sugar. All right, y'all, put on your panties. Amen? Amen. What Christian panties with a godly cotton candle? Amen? Now, folks, hearts on. Let me tell you, don't underestimate it. There is nothing like a woman in sanctified godly panties that can turn a church around. Amen? Amen. Amen.